Welcome back to Rapid Lodash. In our first video, we'll be covering the basics of navigating collections using Lodash. At a basic level, collections are simply arrays of objects. Lodash gives us a number of functions to easily work with this common programming concept. In our previous section, we talked about JavaScript objects and how to construct them using prototypes. We worked with object keys and values and used Lodash to handle different data types. We learned how to copy and clone data as well as entire objects. Finally, we applied some of these techniques to avoid code duplication in our JavaScript objects. In this section, we'll look at collections. We'll start by navigating collections to find the objects that we want. We'll learn how to filter data in collections and to categorize data in our collections. We'll also look at how Lodash can help us generate randomized data sets from our collections. Finally, we'll apply the MapReduce programming model to our collections to perform efficient data crunching. To get started, we'll open up our node REPL environment with the node command. We'll also need to load Lodash with the require command. In our previous examples, we've built arrays and we've built objects. Let's put it together now and create an array of the dinosaurs that we have in our park. We'll create an array with five dinosaurs in it. Each dino has a name, a species, and a holding pin. Let's try to get some data from our collection. We can get an element by using its index. What if we want to get several dinosaurs in one operation? We'll use Lodash's at function. We can pass it a collection and a list of indices of elements to get. As we saw with arrays, it is common to have a collection, but not to know the index of the data that you want. What we really want is to find the element in our collection. For example, we may want to round up Stanley to see the park veterinarian. The find function takes a collection and a JavaScript function. This function will be applied to each element until one of the iterations returns true, at which point it will return the found value. You'll notice that find always returns one element, the first element that matches true. We can use the find last function to find elements in the reverse direction, from the end to the beginning. We've seen how easy it is to find specific elements from a collection. But there is another operation you'll want to perform on collections. Rather than finding specific elements, you may want to get specific values from your collection. For example, we may just want to get a list of all the names of the dinosaurs in our park. Lodash's pluck function helps with this task. And trust me, you'll use pluck a lot. Pluck simply takes a collection and a property name to pull. It will provide an array with each element's value for that key. Let's do a quick recap. We've created a Lodash collection filled with dinosaurs. First, we learned how to get data from a collection by its index. Next, we used find and find last to search for single elements in our collection. Finally, we selected specific properties from our collection using pluck. Now you've got a grasp of the basics of getting data from a collection. In our next video, we'll use Lodash to find multiple elements from a collection and perform advanced filtering operations.